hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the first module of unix and it's just the introduction part of the unix and some commands we'll be uh, learning and finally we'll be learning about the files okay so uh, what basically unix is uh, the command line which we have in the computer terminal so what are the commands used and how it works in the background okay about that we'll be discussing in this uh, module okay and uh, if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay <clears throat> and let's uh, get started with the module these are the uh, previous questions which we'll be discussing after the end of this video okay so this is the uh, starting part we have the unix architecture it's an important uh, question from exam point of view so you need to know this diagram in this diagram we have mainly five parts hardware kernel and these are the um, functions which you can use and these are the other uh, external uh, programs okay so we'll be discussing each of these in this uh, module so uh, you you need to know some of the things which are important like kernel kernel is nothing but the core operating system okay that's enough for uh, remembering like kernel is the core operating system okay what is shell shell is an interface uh, between the kernel and the user okay so suppose that this is the kernel which is inside the computer here this is the user okay and in between the uh, kernel and the user we have the uh, shell which acts as a uh, interface between the uh, kernel and the user by writing the commands here it will be interacting with the kernel okay that is the shell and uh, the file and the process you know what is the file and the process the system calls also we know like functions open close and all and features of the unix include uh, it's portable the name is enough we can uh, write the uh, explanation from our, uh, by our own self and a multi user uh, there are multiple users for it and multitasking networking we can access remotely organized file system data independence utility means there are many tools in it and the services also very uh, useful which are provided by it okay what is unix environment and unix architecture there are three types of environments first for the personal use second is time sharing time sharing means there are multiple users each of them uh, take uh, some amount of uh, cpu time okay and share uh, for the usage and the client server means there will be a client here and the server here okay this, this type of environment is known as client server environment okay and what is the uh, unix structure see basically we have the uh, user part here which is interacting with the shell and we have the computer part here which is kernel and the hardware in between we have the utilities and application programs which you can access for the more efficient use of the uh, kernel and we have the two types posix and the single unix posix is nothing but the portable operating system okay and single unix is an interface for posix okay and understanding some basic commands like echo print f uh, who date and password so these are the um, keywords which uh, they uh, usually ask in exam so listen carefully the date command uh, displays the date and command suppose that in our terminal if you open here and write here like this command date what it will output is the current date okay and if we write here dash u it will output the current date and time uh, of the utc okay universal uh, time okay this is the indian standard time and this is the universal time okay in that way we can output uh, accordingly how we want okay and the next one is uh, the calendar command if we display like um, cal it will display the current uh, month's calendar if you want to display a specific calendar we can write to the month uh, number and the year so it will display that uh, specific month's calendar okay that's for the calendar command and who prints the information of all the users who are currently logged in okay so if you write who it will print who are all logged in here along with the time okay and um, there are some uh, specifications to it like who am i it will display from where you logged in okay that information will be displayed here and who dash you will uh, display how long you have uh, logged in okay in the system the password command is used to change the password command okay so the current password will be taken here and the new password will be taken and retyped okay same as how we do for the accounts okay and uh, echo password is uh, echo command is used to uh, print the values like if i write echo hello world the output will be hello world you, you can use that for the variables as well if i write x is equal to 10 and echo the value of x is that variable if i uh, write here that will print as the value of x is 10 okay the man command it's very important from uh, the question papers it's uh, a lot of time it's asked okay so the man command is nothing but the manual okay if you want to see the um, how the commands work and what are its functions so we can use the man command okay man is a uh, short form of manual okay so man is the system's uh, manual uh, viewer it can be used to display the manual pages scroll up and down search for the occurrences and uh, many other functions okay and man has many pages each is grouped into various sections which uh, we'll be looking in the upcoming topics and a section will direct you to the page of its starting okay 
so they are basically three sections name synopsis and description so for each what is the uh, manual is this is the uh, manual for section number one uh, suppose that for section number one it will have the name like it's for the executable programs and it will have the synopsis which all of the functions used and the description of each of the function okay this is the architecture of the manual okay like that we have many sections which will be handling different types of uh, functions like executable programs system calls library calls special calls and so on okay so totally we have nine uh, sections okay and let's see some examples like if i just uh, write man it will view the manual page for the man command okay so man is also a command so in the manual the definition of man is also present that will be displayed when i write this function okay man uh, as for password that is a section 4 it has the topic password that will be displayed okay if i write this command the next is what is command it displays the um, page description okay manual page description and who command dis, uh, displays the uh, description of who it is like for example who if i write there are two commands one is that who is on the system and second is who is logged in so which one we want to uh, view uh, do i want uh, do i want to look the definition of this one or this one so if i write um, who command it will be displayed like uh, two possibilities are there we have to choose between this one or this one okay and what is uh, if i use and write here cal cal also has two um, type of functions first one displays the calendar a second prints the calendar which one i want to view i can choose uh, among this one okay and a props is also a command it searches for the manual pages for a keyword okay so suppose that this is the manual page uh, it, uh, it acts like a finder if i uh, type any keyword a props uh, command will search for that keyword in the manual page okay and ls command is important it lists all the files in the directory so suppose that i write ls uh, dash l listen carefully it's very important from exam point of view okay if i write here it will display these uh, things here this is the first column second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth okay let's discuss each of these field one by one okay in field number one we have this one okay what is this let me zoom in here we have the dash here followed by a nine uh, digit symbol here okay so what's the first character d means directory dash means normal file s means socket file and one means link file so this uh, indicates which type of file it is okay and the second character is the file permission that um, we have nine characters here divided into three parts first is for the owner second is for the group and third is for the other okay and rw means read or write okay and dash means no uh, no permission okay and we have x also which is for execution so in this it's absent so basically what we have is the first uh, <coughs> place is for reading second is for writing and third is for execution so here we'll have x instead of that we have uh, dash here so in the upcoming topics we'll see uh, those example as well where we'll have execute also okay the next one is the field number two which is the number of links okay so if we see here this is the number of links for that file how many um, links are there for, uh, for that particular uh, how many links are there for that uh, particular file so here we have one in the same way we have the field 3 field 4 field 5 so let's uh, look what are uh, those fields the field 3 is owner the field 4 is group and field 5 is size in the same, the same way we had the date also which is last modified and the uh, seventh field is that uh, file name and lastly we have the display directory information which is the ls dash uh, ld if i write ls dash l like i had done before what we'll um, get to see is the files present here if i write ls uh, dash ld ld will display the list of directories okay these are the files and if you want to display the directories just write here as d okay so this will display the directories okay so that's it uh, about the ls command and what is the internal and external command this is also important from exam point of view internal commands are inbuilt functions external commands are not inbuilt functions but we have downloaded from other programs okay like if you download any program at that time it will be executable uh, path present in a separate file that we have to call by the specifying the path this you might have seen when you have downloaded something from the web and uh, run through the uh, terminal command okay and what is a type command type will display the kind of command it is okay like if i write a type cd cd is an inbuilt function so it will output inbuilt type cp cp is a external command so it will display the path okay and what is a super user super user is just the same as the owner of the file so if you if you know the uh, password we can become the super user and what are the features of the super user it can create the environment for the users 
change and generate the user's password, modify files, etc. Okay, like uh, what all the owner can do, that the super user can also do. Okay, so this is the code for it. Um, the thing is, the person needs to know the password. Okay, and the Unix files are nothing but um, it has the file system which are, which is used to manage or organize its own files in the directory. So there are different types of files which are text file and binary file which comes under ordinary files and directory files will have the details of the file and the unique identification number and lastly we have the device files which are used to represent the physical device suppose that this is your laptop here and when you connect any device like a uh, keyboard here at that time what happens is that keyboard uh, data is stored inside a file okay that files are stored uh, separately like device files okay so we can use that uh, files to know the um, information about the device connected and we can perform the standard in and standard out uh, standard output operations okay so this is how the um, files are organized we have the root here and we have the first level of files the second level of files and finally we have our user files okay so let's discuss each of these levels um, the top reference is the root and after that the first group okay it contains the files that are made available during the system installation when we install the system at that time at that time these files are uh, being installed okay so what does uh, these files contain it has the system administrator commands contains con uh, configuration information contains device files contains library files contains the standard header files used by the uh, programs so this comes in the first group in the second group we have the sub uh, directories and sub files of the first group okay in that what we have is the directories where we can uh, store the values like a temporary file and we have the variable part of the file system and home directory okay on many system users uh, the home directory is uh, present here so wherever we start any uh, program we start from the home directory and from there we um, go to the specific uh, directory where we want okay by using path now let's discuss about the home directory and the home variable Home directory is created when the user account is opened. So each will have its home directory is the starting point for the user files. And when logged in, Unix automatically places you in a directory called home directory. Okay. So we start from that part. And path variable is the nothing but the path of each of the files present inside the system, which are used frequently. Okay. So if we download like Python and all from the uh, web browser, at that time we have to specify the path variable in the environment. Okay. Because uh, the system should know where you have installed the python okay to execute that one that is known as path variable okay and uh, a relative and absolute path names this is important from exam point of view the dot represents the present directory and double dot represents the parent directory okay what is relative path name relative path name means uh, if you are present in some directory like for example see here we are present in the directory of uh, this path and we have in uh, text okay and we have to travel to the parent directory relative means travel the uh, parent directory of text like that if you go that is known as uh, relative in that we are uh, traveling um, to the other directories relative to our present directory okay by using double dot that is known as relative path names absolute path name will give the exact uh, address of where we want to travel okay and we have some uh, directory commands like pwd which is print working directory means print where you are currently in okay which directory you are in that will be printed cd means uh, change directory if i write cd gmit so i'll go from the home kumar to home kumar gmit so the directory is changed and mkdir means uh, make directory so if i write uh, mkdir of none it will be home and slash of none okay and rmdir means remove directory if i write rmdir of none that uh, directory will be removed and will have only home okay ls means list the directory contents okay so we have these many directories here and ls options we can display in various options like uh, if i uh, write here uh, dash x it will represent as a line here okay different lines and uh, if i write here um, dash fx it will represent those files which have the executable files okay which can be executed okay it does not have any text but it uh, it has some applications okay the hidden files can also be seen by using axf that will be represented by a dot here so these are the hidden files which are not visible if we access directly okay and if i want to access and separate the directory contents we can use the lx and help dir progs okay so whatever you specify here by that it will be uh, separated so help dir is here this is the help dir and progs is here okay so different directories are uh, displayed under help dir and progs okay 
and next one we have recursive listing recursive listing means first go to the parent directory then recursively go to the sub directories okay in that every directory will have the um, whatever function we uh, perform okay then we have uh, file related commands okay like a cat command we has uh, two functions to create a file and to display a file to create a file you have to use cat and this um, symbol here and uh, the uh, file name so what it does is whatever um, we enter the uh, input that will be stored in this file okay if you have to display the file just write uh, cat and the uh, and the file name okay so this, uh, that will display the file contents and cp is used to copy a file okay so cp the file name if i write here and another file here the second file's content will be copied to the first file and if i have to uh, copy the file from the first content to another directory that i will be writing in this way okay this for both files this for file and directory to delete the file we can use rm if i write rm chap1 chap1 will be deleted okay mv is for uh, basically moving the files or we can use that for renaming also okay so if i write mv pts upper directory uh, pts directory is renamed as per directory okay so which directory we want to rename that will write here and the new name we will write here okay so here's uh, so here's another example chap1 is uh, renamed to man1 okay next we have the wc command it's used to count the number of lines words and characters in the file wcl will count the number of lines wcw will count the number of words wcc uh, will count the number of characters okay finally we have od command it uh, used to display the data in octal okay now let's uh, discuss the previous questions so all the questions which i have written here are taken from the 2015 2017 and 2018 scheme okay so some of the questions are from other module which will be not uh, discussing uh, in this module okay so let's uh, get started the man command i have uh, discussed in the module uh, explanation this also is discussed internal and external commands the features of unix that's also discussed and illustrate how to display the terminal uh, characteristics of unix okay that's uh, done by the term command term uh, stands for terminal uh, characteristics and if you have to display i'll use get term or else i'll use set term okay that will display the terminal characteristics of a particular file okay the next one is the uh, describe the command arguments and options that's uh, discussed in the uh, module and super user is also discussed and the significance of lsl command that's also discussed explain with a diagram unix architecture explain in detail the commands needed for user management this from the different module and mention the use for the following commands that's also discussed and explain with a uh, diagram the kernel user uh, shell relationship that's also discussed now the um, remaining questions are not uh, repeated many times see the, uh, the questions which are repeated i have marked here okay these are the important ones and the next ones which are uh, repeated once or twice i have written here so this you can find out by yourself the examples also we have discussed in the explanation and this from another module i guess and this also uh, the other questions okay like some we have discussed some we have not discussed but uh, these are not repeated okay so this is all what uh, was there in the module one of uh, unix so thank you for watching and see you in the next one